Let's ready. Let's go. Good morning, everybody. He's taking the dogs out first thing in the morning here, Monday morning. Getting our souls woke up, waked up, woke up. I'm going to have some breakfast after this. Hop in the pickup and head to the big truck. I'm not sure which truck they're going to have me driving today because my truck was in the shop. Well, my truck's still in the shop, and so is the other 3010 that I was using last week. I had issues with it on Friday there. So that's going into the shop as well. 2025, our new guy, Caden, he's using it. So we've got a driver in that truck now. So there is no truck left for Trucker Josh, except for 42. You guys remember 42, don't you? We're gonna hang out again today. All right, 42, you gonna be nice to me? Because all the other trucks are not being very nice to me. Every truck I touch seems to, <laughs> Some... <laughs> something's going on with it. That's winter time though, right? It's not always just the truck. Where'd, my... Where'd I put the keys now? I put them in this pocket? Aha, there you are. Just gonna unlock the door here. Double check, verify that nobody's in here. I thought that a driver was gonna be moving into this truck last week, but not nah, turns out. I guess not. Ha! Huh. So this is our truck for today anyways. Uh, so before I turn it over, I'm gonna go and check the oil. Make sure that uh, that's all in order. Cause you don't wanna be turning over an engine if it doesn't have any oil in it. That's trucking 101, especially when you're getting into a new truck. You should do this every day. Uh, obviously, regardless, it's part of your pre-trip. But especially, especially when you're getting into a truck that you haven't been in regularly. I want to make sure that everything under the hood is as it should be. Never trust the person before you. Even though they might be a very trustworthy person, it's just best to rely on your own eyeballs. Lower this beast thing down. Down. Let's see what she's got to tell us. Tell me your story. Who are you? What are you? Are you doing okay? Are you healthy? Looking real good here. Looking real good here. Belts are on the other side. There's a pack our motor. Lots of coolant. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So far, so good. Let's keep going. Around over here. Okay. Washer fluid. Belts. Another one in there. Tight. It's good. That looks in order. Okay, check the oil. Right at the full line. That's good. Gonna do a few more checks now and then we'll turn it over and get it started. Okay, start up for me. It smells good in here still, it smells like a new truck. Sounds about the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Oh, we're talking about the Winnipeg Blue Bombers on the radio. Congrats to the Blue Bombers winning the Great Cup. Just gonna throw that in there. We're matching today, blue on blue. freight inside this trailer. I've got to deliver part of it into Winnipeg and part of it into Selkirk, north of Winnipeg. 
it came from Ohio and uh, I believe it came from Ohio yeah I'll have to double check that but it's come a long ways already we're gonna take it the rest of the way okay fragile good to know what is this stuff Not too sure what Frigile is, but we got a whole load of it. Is there some other stuff back there? There is, isn't there? All right, well, I'm gonna go have to take a look. It doesn't really matter what's, how, what way it's loaded, because I can open the sides of the curtains, right? Side of the trailer. Deliver it in whatever order, but I'll do Winnipeg first, then I'll go up to Selkirk. I just want to find out where Winnipeg is so that when I get there I already know what's coming off and I don't got to figure it out at the customer. All right, so from the back we got boxes on pallets here and there's one, two, two skids I believe that are going to Edmonton. I don't think I'm delivering those unfortunately though it would be fun to go on a little bit of a road trip with two skids. I'm sure that will be added onto another truck headed out that way. Uh, Winnipeg here, yep. Winnipeg, Edmonton. So we got this skid right here for Edmonton, that one for Edmonton, the rest for Winnipeg, and then I guess the stuff at the front there is Selkirk. Okay, I'm just gonna go around and make sure all the straps are tight. Make sure that uh, everything is as it should be check out the trailer and stuff and uh, we'll be on the way it's been a good Monday so far it hasn't really started yet but it's been good so far it's always a treat driving these T680s like I told you last weekend we took this uh, well we took this truck up to Saskatchewan that was the first trip I've ever taken in a T680 and you know I've never driven one but I always said that's my favorite one that's my favorite truck if I had to go on the highway I'd want to be in a T680 Okay, bud, you have to stop for me. I have the right of way. I have the right of way. I have the right of way. Okay, bud. Not very many people know how those things work. <laughs> kind of figured he wasn't going to stop. They rarely do. So now when I'm coming onto the highway up here, the vehicles already on the road that I'm merging onto have the right of way. And if there's no room for me to merge onto I stop here at the beginning of the merge so this guy's got the right of way see he's turning so I'm gonna slow down here stop here give him the right of way and then I have the full merge ramp to speed up and get into traffic parked here on the street waiting for Mr. Super B. This window's dirty. I'm gonna clean this off. Once he's done, he's loading up there. I think he's just finishing actually. Once he's out of there, I pull in there back in where he's at and then roll up my, my Conestoga trailer, roll everything to the front and then unstrap it and then they'll unload me here. I think they got like 12 or 13 skids coming in here. It turns out most of the stuff is going to Selkirk, my second drop. And I just unloaded three skids here at the back. I thought so much more was coming off here. I got here and I told them I got like 12 or 13 skids for you. Turns out there was only three. So that's good news, right? It's good news, less to do. But my next delivery is in Selkirk. Uh, what was it? Uh, da, 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 yes, I have to figure out how far away from here that is. Where's my phone? Here it is. This freight came from Indiana. I told you Ohio or something before, didn't I? This freight here came from Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, did some of it come from elsewhere? Oh yeah, some of it came from Toledo. Toledo. Some of it came from, where is this? Wisconsin, 
Wow, very diverse load from all over the place. Some of it came from, well, I guess I said Ohio, right? I thought I saw something that came from Indiana before. Just trying to figure out where, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, it came from that area, the Midwest there. Ohio's mid, well, no, I guess Ohio wouldn't be Midwest, would it? Ohio would be, what region would Ohio call itself? Is that Midwest? I can't keep, you guys got so many regions down there in the US, I can't keep up with them all. I know New England, and I know the South, and I know like the Southwest, and the Midwest is kind of like in the middle, right? And then the Pacific Northwest up in the Northern West for you guys. Midwest is middle. I would be considered Midwest if Manitoba was a part of America, uh, the United States. I, I understand, people always say, yes, I am North American but I'm not American. I know, it's a little funny with the words here. And we got a little uh, confused naming things when we first got here. We got a lot of things wrong. And uh, that was one of them. <laughs> but they are the United States of North America. So they call themselves Americans, because what else are you gonna call them? United Statesans? United Statesites? Statesers? Uniters? USAers? Well, uh, what else are you gonna know? American, it just flows better. You call them Americans. Ca Canada, we are the confederated provinces of North America. We used to be called British North America. Now we're called Canada. All the same country, British North America, we just changed our name to Canada. Same people, same queen, same everything. But uh, we named our country. You know, instead of just calling ourselves the United Confederate Provinces of North America, we said, you know, let's put a name to these confederated provinces. Canada. So we named them all. In the USA next to us, they seem to not come up with a name for the overall country, national country. Just the United States of America, North America. There's no real name for it. They're just the United States, which happened to be in North America. The United States of America. So we refer to them here, here anyways, in this side of the world, we refer to them as Americans and us as Canadians, two different countries. Sure, we may be similar in many ways, but we are different. We are a separate sovereign country from them. We're all North Americans, but I'm not American. Have I confused you yet? Welcome to our world. But anyways, that whole rant stemmed from wondering if Ohio is part of the Midwest of the United States. If Canada was a part of the United States, Manitoba, where I'm at right now, would be considered Midwest, right? Because we're right north of Minnesota and North Dakota. I guess we'll never know because we're not a part of the United States. We're our own deal. We'll never know. And off we go. So McPhillips is just ahead here. I think two traffic lights ahead. I'm going to be making a left turn. That's why I'm in this lane. Answer your question before you even type it. I could hear the keyboards just sizzling from all your fingers already. What you doing in the left lane, Trucker Jack? Calm down, it's okay. I'm turning left, okay? Not here, the next ones. If I don't get into the right lane right away as all the cars come in here and prevent me and then they don't let me get back into this lane when I need it. All right, I gotta keep my trailer out of that lane there. Make it nice and wide. There you go. And now this is McPhillips. As soon as we leave, this is Route 180 in the city. As soon as we leave city limits, it turns into Highway 8. You gotta admit, even when it's dirty, it looks good. It's that time of year. We can't really help it. But it still looks good. Like, man. Sort of makes me want to run over to Andy the Kenworth guy and buy one right now. <laughs> just park on the street just outside where we unloaded. We'll double check everything in the trailer before we take it out on the road. All right. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Grab these little strap protectors. And those three skids at the back there are going on to Edmonton. So they will be, I don't know, if, they probably won't be going by themselves in this big trailer. I'm, I'm not in charge of those decisions. 
there. They'll be going to Edmonton pronto though, I'm pretty sure. This trailer's all nice and empty. All set and ready to go. You know what, this coming summer, I'm definitely gonna bring my pressure washer to work one of these days. I'm gonna take these roll tights when they're empty and clean out the insides. It just bugs me. <laughs> it bugs me that they get dirty. And I don't blame everyone for, uh, for the, either forgetting to wash the inside or not washing the inside. It's When you go to a Blue Beacon or a regular truck wash, they're not focused on the inside of the trailer. They'll wash the truck and the outside of the trailer. Unless you specifically pay them to wash the inside, they'll wash the inside. Eh, we'll take care of it in summer. Right now, if we wash it, it'll just create a much bigger problem with all the ice. 42 definitely got dirty since I had it last. Look at that thing. What a dirty girl. Filthy. Just like every other vehicle on the road here, though. <laughs> Must be nice to live in climates like Florida or Southern Georgia or California. You know, climates where you don't have all the snow and all the, the mess that goes along with it, you know? As the snow goes on the road and then on the warmer days it melts, turns to water, starts spraying all over the place. And of course, the roads are covered in sand and salt for traction. So then all that sand and salt goes all over here. This could probably get this dirty 10 minutes after washing it. I talk about it a lot, I know, I'm sorry. It's, just, it's a constant battle, because I'm a guy who likes to drive clean vehicles, but this is the time of year where uh, it's impossible, literally impossible. You wash it 10 minutes later. It's dirtier than when you brought it into the car wash. You know, with my pickup truck, I can sort of justify it. You know, I'm just keeping, keeping salt off my truck so it doesn't rust. But on a big truck, those truck washes are very expensive, unless if I do it myself, which is very time consuming. Sort of between a rock and a hard place, you just sort of got to deal with it. It's just life in Canada, life on the prairies of, of the West. It's just how it is. Can't ever quite get used to it, because it, it does bug me. It does. I know, I see your comments too. Believe me, it bugs me too, but nothing I can really do about it. trailer in the loaded line up there. I'm gonna go park this truck. We got some exciting news, some good news. We're gonna be back in this truck tomorrow. And we're doing an overnight into Ontario. Not too far, but uh, far enough that we need to make it an overnight. So I'll be bringing all my stuff with me. Uh, our load is only gonna be ready at 3 p.m. So it'll be a night ride. And come in a little later than usual tomorrow and uh, you know, pick her up and head on into Ontario. We'll be back the next day. Not gonna argue with that. Gonna spend another night in this condo. Hey guys. Is that it, Chad? Yeah, that's it. I just wanna say hey. Hey. I have a feeling there are a few others that would like to say hey. Who wants to say hello? No one? Oh, come on, they're gonna hurt their feelings. You guys? Huh? Well, you're gonna say hello anyways. Come on, don't be rude. Say hello. Hello. What? What is it? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping too? I was sleeping. 
And where's the weasel? Hey! There's a weasel that wants to say hi. Just waking myself up the next morning here. We're about to head out on our overnight for tomorrow's video. Hey! What's he doing? Something must be very important. Very, very more important than saying hey to you guys. It must be very important. Oh, there he is. What are you doing over here, Diesel? What are you doing, Nothing. You hiding something over there? What are you hiding? Nothing. What were you doing? Okay, I was doing my nails, okay? Don't laugh. Don't laugh. We just need to do your nails. Totally normal. What? No judgment here, Diesel. You be you over there, all right? Doing his nails. I just wanted to wrap this up here for you and thank you for watching the video today. Tomorrow, I'm excited. Well, tomorrow for you, today for me, so I'm already all excited. I'm, I'm gonna be headed into Ontario to a town called Barwick. It's not that far into Ontario from here. It's about a five, six hour drive or so, but hey, that's a five, six hour drive in the T680. I'm looking forward to that. You like our Christmas tree? I always try to get it in the background. Britt decorated it very nice. It's a very small one, I know, because we have a very small house. I think most apartments are bigger than our house. But we own this. <laughs> so it was ours. We're uh, saving up to build a, a bigger house out in the country. Outside here, we own some land out there. If you guys are new, uh, welcome. We've had a, a big growth spurt lately in the channel, which has been awesome, very exciting. Glad to see a lot of new, new usernames in the comment section there. Feel free to let your thoughts flow down there if you like. Leave me a comment. If you like the videos, give me a thumbs up. Helps me a lot. And stick around. we got more videos coming. I think this is vlog number 2428, if I'm right. So we've been doing this for a little while. What, two, 2011. And we had vlogs before that too, but it's vlog 2428 since I started counting. I thought at one point, I'm like, maybe I should start numbering these because there's going to be quite a few of them. And I was right. There's quite a few. <laughs> You can start right here, or you can start from the beginning. I'm trying to get them all into a playlist for you, but I, I haven't found an efficient way of doing that yet. It takes a lot of time. I gotta go back and find the videos and one at a time put them into the playlist. There's gotta be a better way, but I haven't figured it out yet. Maybe I will soon, but... Glad you're here. I'll see you tomorrow. This is the end of today's video.